Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a really soft, kind of an everyday romantic look. I would say this is, is nothing too harsh about this look. We've got no lip liner on, we've got no eyeliner on. Um, yeah, I just wanted to create something different from my normal everyday liquid liner, same makeup that I'm always using. I wanted to see what I could create. We're in a different setup today, so bear with me, but let's jump right on into the video. So I'm going to start with putting on a little bit of primer. I have been absolutely loving this primer again. Um, I've had the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer for years, probably when I first started YouTube, um, but past sort of two to three months I've been using it again and just loving what it is doing for my skin, filling in where it needs to fill in <laughs> and uh, just making it radiant and really sticking to my foundation. So yeah, I've been loving using this again. This room is so difficult to light as well. I definitely need another light as in like a backlight over here because this is where I can see a little bit of shadow at the moment. I've got three lights in this room. I've got a softbox light here, one here lighting sort of the back area over here and then one right in front and it's also really echoey but it's nice to have a little bit of a dedicated space specifically for filming. On to foundation and I am going to go back to one. I haven't worn foundation in months if you've seen any of my recent videos um, but I'm going to go back to the YSL. This is the All Hours Foundation and this is in BD30 and I'm keeping this look quite simple in the fact that I'm going to just be using my fingers for a lot of this. I say that, I'm not really, because I'm going to put powders on as well, so just really using this to work it into that primer, work it into the skin. Why am I doing this without mirror? Let me get mirror. Is it my recent podcast? Yes! I've started a podcast, guys, I know. I'm a little bit excited about it as well, and it's getting like hardly any listens, I nearly said views then, listens, but I'm really excited about it. It reminds me about when I first started YouTube and, you know, I'd refresh the page um, just to see the views and um, it'd be like, one person has watched a video and I'd just be so excited that somebody, somebody's just watched what I put my effort into. So it's kind of like that with this again just seeing like oh I've spent all that time creating something and somebody's listening to it yeah it's quite exciting okay, I'm gonna put a tiny bit more on my nose here that's the good thing about this foundation is it's quite buildable but it doesn't doesn't look cakey I don't know what I did on top of my lids there Okay, and then I'm just gonna go back with a little smidge just here where I've got a little bit of redness. Just pat that in. Okay. So I am going to take the NARS Creamy Concealer and this is in Light One Chantilly. And I'm just gonna focus this underneath the eyes here. Gosh, there's not a lot of this left in the bottle, guys. I have been saying that I'm going to get a new one, try a different brand that's got a little bit more coverage. The coverage on this is good, but I feel like my circles at the moment are just so dark. I really need something else. Something to help me along a little bit. I have gone back to on my everyday makeup using the Becca... What is this called? The Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. But still having that issue where if I use that, because it's quite thick and oily, I suppose, that's really not a way to describe a product, is it? Because it's not thick and oily, but <laughs> um, I find that my mascara just ends up on my face if I 
don't set my under eyes if I wear something like that. And I like the reflection that I get if I wear something like that. Okay, a little bit of this on the chin. Tip on the nose and I think I look a little bit dark. Those areas, so let's just blend those in. The idea with this room as well is to put like backdrops behind me. So this is kind of like going back to when I first started filming against a white wall, but I used to love the simplicity of it for makeup videos and this is only for makeup videos, but I definitely want to um, try and mix up the backgrounds. I'm gonna set my eyebrows in place using <laughs> the old favorite, which is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. So just pushing these up into place. And then we'll powder and we'll come back to filling in the brows then. So we're gonna try to not use my everyday powders here. Um, I do need to set this, I've run out of my Laura Mercier, so I think I'm gonna use the RCMA powder. Um, but I would love to use today the Becca Be A Light palette, which I haven't used this for the longest time. It's a little bit powdery here, it's a little bit stuff all over it, but yes. Let's take that first off and let's go in with this lightest shade here. I feel like this, this will be good as sort of like a glowy setter for the rest of the face. nice then just before we set down a little bit of that shine under the eyes and things let's go in with the slightly darker shades here so let's go in with this as my kind of contour color and then this as my bronzer so darkest shade first just taking that right underneath the cheekbones and the jawline too. My, I really need, oh, just as I'm saying I really need new brushes. I'm giggling because I've just remembered that in my recent, in my first podcast that I've done, I go on about the fact that I feel like one of my new insecurities is my chin. I feel like I'm losing my jawline. Is this an age thing guys? Is this what happens? Do you lose your chin? Okay, second colour now. Forgot how lovely this palette was, it's so dewy. And I'm just taking this, so where we did the bronzer on the exterior of the face, I'm just bringing this in a little bit more look this is nice guys okay I found this powder I didn't go for the RCMA powder I found the Laura Mercier invisible loose setting powder and I I would definitely recommend the translucent powder over the invisible but we've run out of the invisible so that's what we're gonna use so fine though it is super super fine so let's take a really small brush and a little bit of this and let's just set into the eyes and also around the nose chin basically those areas though where we put the concealer where I really don't want to shine I 
think the reason that I didn't like this before is because it came off as quite white but I might try and blend that back in with maybe that first powder that we put on. I have this thing, like right here, I feel like I need to go and see a dermatologist for it or something, but it's right here and I don't know what it is. I haven't covered it today as you can see, but um, it's worrying me a little bit because I feel like, has it got a little bit bigger? It's been there for years. Nothing really gets rid, but I don't know what it is. Just grabbing that bronzy color again, just to warm up that whiteness. At least we aren't super shiny there now. Taking the blush from in here now, this is a gorgeous blush. And I'm just gonna smile and place it, not right over onto the apple, but where my pupil is. I'm gonna come down and just place it here and up. Across the nose. Yeah, it's so white, that powder. That was why I didn't like it. I'm just going to take the excess just through the eyes. Coming in close. I'm going to do the brows. I'm using my old favourite, the MAC Shape and Shade in Spiked. And let's just draw a few hairs here. On this side as well. try and keep this soft but sometimes it doesn't end up soft. <laughs> I just realised I haven't contoured my nose either. I'm going to go back and do that in a second. Gosh I feel really out of practice with doing makeup tutorials. We'll get back into it, it's okay. It only really takes me like one or two. One or two goes of the video to get back into things. Stick with me guys. I said, if you're still here right now, <laughs> if you haven't switched off, I said that I want to try and get better. Really do want to try and get better at makeup. And I feel a little bit out of practice with doing different things so I'm going to try and experiment a little bit more. Okay going on to the other end of this with the powder. I'm just going to brush that through the hairs and I'm not, not going to carve out using any concealer or anything. I'm going to try and keep the shape as it is. You can see here I actually need to pluck these brows. I'm just going to take my good old NARS Laguna just to carve out my nose. We are on to the eyes and we're going to use the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. And we're going to take sweet across the lid and then I think I'm going to go in with possibly drip and hive and then just along the lash line I'm going to take the darkest colour which is sting. So sweet first, hive and drip and then sting and if I feel like I need to warm up and um, to lighten sorry we'll go in with that lightest shade there. So first of all taking sweet across the lid 
This is such a natural, soft colour. I actually don't think I'm going to go as dark as I was originally. Let's just keep it quite soft. I'm going to blend up sweet. Then just taking a little bit of drip, just going to place that here, so not quite in the socket but just above, try and give cheat a little bit of extra lid space and move that towards the brow but leaving a gap there. Taking that first brush just to blend everything, to really soften it. Okay, lightest shade. And underneath the brow too. And then darkest shade, like the tiniest bit of that, right by the lash line. But I'm not going to go all the way in with this, I'm just going to concentrate it from the, the middle of the eye out. Just pressing that in. I'm blending it with my finger. Just sort of want, want a trace of it there. Other side. Underneath the eye, then I'm going to take that darkest colour sting. It's sort of the same position, see, so from half of the eye out. And then go back into drip, the okay, colour here, and let's bring that underneath that colour. Taking this one a little bit further across. We're going to go into the Lancome Hypnose Drama Waterproof and I think we're going to do the top and the bottom lashes today. Let's have a little look.
you wanted a more fluttery look, you could leave this to dry. Bunnies. And go it back in with a second coat, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. For lips, I'm not going to line. Um, I want this to be quite a soft look. So I'm gonna try and mix two lipsticks as well. So I'm gonna go in with the More Cream Up These from the Dose of Colours uh, Desi Times Katie collection. And just apply that to the center of the lips. That's really quite a nice nude color here. Then we're gonna go in with the next one which we are not focusing, are we? Yeah, so that's that colour. Um, which is quite a dark colour. This is the Bond Girl. Yeah, Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. So. Again, I'm going to use my fingers here to blend this. Not really putting this on as you would a normal lipstick. I'm pushing this in. Really rubbing that into the lip. Gonna darken up the outside. And this is why you should put a tissue in your hair. Look at that, both sides. Just straightened it. And that is our finished look. And I absolutely love how this one has come out. Um, considering I was just sitting down to create a soft look with just some neutral colors, I love what has come out. So I think I'm going to be wearing this one maybe to work some days. But I love, yeah, I love how this has come out. Um, need to incorporate some of these colours back into my into my life I feel. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me with this situation with the lighting and things just whilst I um, I need to see how this comes from the computer for me to see what I need to fiddle with but thank you for sticking with me please subscribe if you are not already because it really really helps me out um, and I know that you kind of like these videos and um, let me know what you thought in the comments section and I will speak to you in the next one bye guys